Well, well, well. What do we have here? It looks like a little human stumbled into my castle. How dare you enter this place uninvited? What do you want, human? Your answer will determine whether you live or die. Oh? You need my help, do you? That's one I've never heard before. Why on earth would a human ask a vampire for aid? The only one who can save your village? <laughs> oh, my dear child. Why on earth would I want to save a human village? If you ask me, good riddance to the lot of them. They have no place among our kind. They're nothing but livestock, just like you. Please. Oh my. To come all this way up the mountainside and into my house. You must really be desperate. So tell me, what exactly do you want me to do? I see. A deadly disease, huh? Hmm. Well, my blood might be enough to cure them. Oh, don't worry. It won't turn them into vampires. Not unless I drink their blood as well. And then they would just be my slaves. But I have no interest in any more of those. But on the other hand... Looking at you. Hmm. Let's see. My oh my. What a nice body you have. Uh uh uh. I want to get a better look at you. Now hold still. Hmm. You're not half bad for a human. Perhaps you and I can come to some kind of arrangement. I can help cure your village. They will no longer feel sickness or pain. But, I will only do it on one condition. You have to agree to stay here with me and be my pet. And that means, from this day on, you can never again return home. You will be by my side always. Well, I'm sorry. That is the condition. Think carefully now, human, before you refuse me. I'm the only one who can save them. Without my help, they will all most surely get sick and die. Including you. And I know you humans. You would do anything to save your families. You're so sentimental... And you get so easily attached to one another. We have no such attachments like that among my kind. <laughs> Do you need some time to think on it? Oh? My, my. That was fast. So you agree to my terms, then? <laughs> That's what I like to hear. You humans serve no greater purpose than to be slaves to my kind. Those of you who are lucky enough to roam free will always die off eventually. Wait. What village are you speaking of? It is the one at the bottom of the mountain, right? Yes, through the mountain pass. It must have taken you at least a week to get here, if not longer. I do know of that village. Hmm. Uh, uh, well, never mind. I will investigate your village further. 
Back to the matter at hand. So you agree to be my pet, then? And do everything I say without question? On the condition that I save your village, of course. <laughs> All right, then. Come here and kneel before me. That's it, my pet. On your knees. <laughs> Just like that. This collar is made especially for slaves of my court. Now hold still. That's it. Once this collar is on, you can never remove it. Is that understood? Not that you could anyway. I've placed a binding spell on it, forever binding you to me. There. How does it feel? <laughs> what do you mean, is that all? Oh, just you wait. It'll take a moment for the seal to kick in. <laughs> there it goes. Ah, it's fun to watch you writhe around in agony. <laughs> oh, shh. It's all right, my little pet. You belong to me now. And with this collar, you cannot disobey me. Oh, I know it hurts. That's what I like about it. <clears throat> now, be a good little pet and come sit on my lap. That's it. You're learning so fast. I'm almost impressed. What do you mean, what's the point of this? You are here to serve me and entertain me. Do I need a better reason than that? Why? Because I find you strangely alluring. You're different from the other humans I have here. I sense in you a certain type of independence. You can think for yourself. And I like that. You're not just a mindless zombie for the rest of my kind. There are many different humans here. Most of them just grovel at my feet and obey my every whim. And as much as I enjoy that, I need a little bit of spice every now and then. That's where you come in. I can already tell that you're going to be a handful. You're stubborn and rebellious. And I already know that you're going to try to run. <laughs> Do you think me a fool? I can sense it. You thought you could trick me and escape. Once I helped you, I mean. Your body language gave you away. But little do you know that collar will not let you step off of these grounds. Of course you are free to roam the gardens around the castle. But that is as far as you go. Unless you want to be an excruciating pain. <laughs> my oh my. Now you're getting bold. I did not trick you, human. I will keep my promise as long as you keep yours. But now that you are bound to me and this castle... I know that you can never go out of my reach. So I suppose that will suffice. Maria, come here, please. Yes, it's all right. You can come out now. Oh, no need to worry. 
She's just another human here under my protection. Come here, Maria. Hold this. Right under my wrist. Perfect. What's the matter, human? Don't like the sight of blood? <laughs> there, that should be enough. Take this to the village at the bottom of the mountain. Make sure to distribute it among all of the villagers. This will cure all of their illnesses. And make sure to bring proper rations with you before you go, and change your footwear. That is all, Maria. <laughs> oh, did I forget to mention that? She has not spoken since she was a child. Her family was killed by another vampire. And ever since then, she's never spoken a word. But there you have it. The cure is on its way. You no longer have to worry about your family. All you need to do now is focus on serving me. Hey. Ah, ah, ah. You're mine, remember? We had a deal. And as much as I know you're going to hate this, I have a favor to ask of you as well. <laughs> Well, you see, now that you're my new pet, I must properly retrain you. No more of this rebellious behavior. No more saying that you want to leave, either. Remember, I can easily undo what I've done. I could go slaughter the entire village if I wanted to. What do you mean I would have nothing to gain from that? <laughs> you're already getting smarter. I suppose you're right. I don't do anything that's not in my own best interest. But even so, you have no choice anymore. Now, I want you to hop up and stand in front of me. That's a good pet. Just like that. Now slide those off. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Just do it. That's perfect. Now that those are out of the way, kneel down and spread your knees apart. Embarrassing. Oh, darling. I haven't even begun to embarrass you yet. This is only the beginning. That's it. Just like that. Remember, you're my plaything. And I can do to you what I want. Now move your hand down. Lower. I said, lower. That's it. Right there is perfect. I think you already know where this is going, human. Don't you? Alright then. It's time for you to get started entertaining me. Do you understand, my pet? Good. <laughs> Just like that. That's perfect. My, my. Look at you. So innocent. <laughs> Your face is also blushing red. Uh uh. Focus on your hands. 
Why am I just watching? Would you like me to get more involved than this? Oh. Hm. <laughs> you really are different, aren't you? All right, fine. Then come back over to my chair. Yes, you have my permission. Be gentle now, or I'll be forced to bite you. That's it. Hey there, listener. Thank you so much for your support. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe for more. Also, don't forget to comment so you can let me know how I did. And if you'd like to support the channel, please join my Patreon for more spicy content. Or you can join our Discord group if you'd like to chat with me. The link is down below. And as always, this is Akihiko Kai. Mwah. See you next time.